We're going to go through this again, and um, if you've got your two colours at the ready, which angle are they interested in? Angle A. So I'm just going to mark that in, and I can see the side that's opposite it is 53. Very good. So that's going to match up, and then you've got another angle, another side, uh, 21 degrees and 37 units, centimetres, who knows, okay? So now that I know what matches with what, I'm going to write the sine rule. Sine of angle A divided by what again? 53, very good. Equals sine of the other angle, 21, on the other side, 37. So far so good, I multiply through. At this point you're going to have to reach for your calculator. What does your calculator say? Give me some decimal places. Say it, say it again. Really? 0.5? Uh, Jeff, give me one more. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. By the way, I, don't, I didn't know what the answer was, but as soon as someone said one point something, I knew something was wrong. I'll let you have a think. You can ask me later on how I knew that that couldn't be right. Um, zero point something is what I'm expecting. Okay. Now usually, my next line I'm going to say angle A equals. Okay. But I want you to go to your calculator. What's the next step? You go shift sign, right? While it's still in your display. And what do you get? What do you get? Say it again. 30.886 dot dot dot. Okay. Now you'll notice I'm writing this in red on purpose. When we ended this question and got 44.5, I asked you to do a sense check. Yeah? Do a sense check on this answer for me. Have a look. Check out the diagram. 30.886? 31 degrees? What's gone wrong? Or how do I know something is wrong? 31 degrees is, is quite small, right? 31 degrees, and it's opposite this angle, uh, sorry, this side over here, that doesn't look right, okay? So what could it be instead? This is actually, thinking back to our um, review questions, this is the base angle. It's not, it's not A, it's the angle that's related to A. A looks obtuse, right? In fact, if you look at the top of question three in the text, it says angle A is obtuse. So therefore, to get the obtuse version of this, I'm going to do 180. 180 take away. Angle A is 180 take away that 886. Okay? Um, this is going to give you some decimal places. What is that? 149 point something? Uh, 114? 113, one, whatever? Dot, 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 dot. Now look at the question. Question three, look at the text. They want you to do some approximation. What kind? Nearest minute. So at this point, with the answer still in your display, you want to hit the degrees, minutes, seconds button, and you're going to get 149 degrees and some number of minutes. What's the next number? Just six? Just six? Is the next number after that going to make it round up to seven, or is it just going to stay at six? Is it rounding? What's the next number? 50. Well, there are only 50 seconds in a minute. Sorry, there are only 60 seconds in a minute. So 50 is clearly up, right? So that will round up to seven minutes. Okay? So be watchful for that. They will tell you, hey, um, look at this diagram. Or they'll even just say without a diagram, hey, angle A uh, is obtuse. So therefore, that's not obtuse, it's just the base angle. Does that make sense?